the mother of God appeared to a badly wounded soldier of the Polish legions, Tomasz Klasowski. It took place in Grablin, in 1813. Mary, according to a soldier's account, had a very beautiful face. She was dressed in a long magenta dress and a golden cloak with symbols referring to the Passion of Christ. There was a crown on the head of the Mother of God, and she hugged the white eagle to her breast. Mary helped Thomas recover and asked him to find her image when he returned home. Thomas became a devout Catholic and made many pilgrimages to holy places in search of the image he remembered from that day. I managed to do it over twenty years later, in 1836. He found a picture with the image of Mary in the village of Ligota, from where, with the consent of the owner, he took it to his home. Thanks to the Madonna, his faith strengthened, and he drew closer to God and looked with hope at the future of his homeland, tormented by wars. Finally, Mary ordered him to show the image to other countrymen as well. In 1844, he exhibited it in a chapel on the road leading to Lycan and until the end of his life he took care of it and thanked Mary for saving it. He believed that with her help, the homeland would finally regain its freedom. After Tomasz's death, his friend, Mikolai Sikatka, a local shepherd, took care of the painting. Mary also appeared to him. She called people to faithfulness to God, transformation, and conversion. She warned that the sins that weighed people down could bring death and destruction upon them. Mary proclaimed these words with sadness, but also with love for people and God. She believed that one day people from all over the world would make pilgrimages to her image, recognizing God as the highest good. Unfortunately, the local residents did not believe in Mikolai's words and did not want to renounce their sinful life. This changed only in 1852, when a cholera epidemic struck the area. Pilgrims made pilgrimages to the image, asking Mary for grace and salvation. Numerous healings and other proofs of the grace of the Mother of God made her image a place of worship. Mikhail Marshevsky, the bishop of the Kuyavienkalis diocese, decided to move the miraculous image to the church in Lycansteri. The transfer of the image took place on September 29, 1852. In order to commemorate the revelations and miracles performed by the image in 1994, the construction of the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Sorrows, Queen of Poland in Lycansteri began. There, in the Basilica of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Lycan, on the main altar, there is now an image. The attributes of Our Lady of Lycan are, a long amaranth dress. A golden coat with emblems referring to the Passion of Christ. A crown on the head. A white eagle hugged to the chest. Eternal life and faith. Crown, reminds us that Mary is called the Queen of Poland and Poles. White eagle, cuddled to her breast by Mary, who in this way shows her love for our nation.